In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the resistor color code in order to determine the value of a resistor. So the first color, reading it from left to right, is for the first digit. So the first color is red. Well, let's actually use the color red. The second color is uh, yellow. The third color, let's just say it's uh, orange. The last color is for the tolerance. It's usually either gold, silver, or no color. So let's say this is gold. I'm going to put a G for gold. So what you need to do is when you have the first color, which is red, look for the number in a table. So red corresponds to two. That's the first digit. The second color, yellow, correlates to the second digit. And based on the table, yellow is associated with 4. So you can have 2, 4, or 24. O, or orange, is 3. But the third number is the multiplier. The first two letters corresponds to the first two digits. The third letter corresponds to the multiply, which is 10 to the third. So this is 24 times 10 to the third. And the last color is the tolerance, which is usually gold, silver, or no color. So since we have gold, the tolerance is 5%. So it's going to be plus or minus 5%. Now what is 10 to the third? 10 to the third is basically 10 times 10 times 10, three times, or just a thousand. So 24 times 1,000 is 24,000. So that's the value of the resistance. It's 24,000 ohms. Now, because this number is so large, let's convert it to kilo ohms. To convert it to kilo ohms, just divide by 1,000. 1 kilo ohm is equal to 1,000 ohms. So therefore, this is about 24 kilo ohms plus or minus 5%. Now let's go ahead and calculate the range. So what we want to do is find out what 5% of the resistance is equal to. So right now we have 2.4, actually 24 kilo ohms, plus or minus 5%. So let's multiply 24K by 0 0.05, which is going to be 5% of it. And that's about 1.2 kilo ohms. So the actual resistance can vary between 1.2 kilo ohms from 24 kilo ohms. So it could be 24 minus 1.2. So it can be 22.8 kilo ohms on the low side or it can be 24 plus 1.2, which will be 25.2 kilo ohms. So based on this information, the resistance is about 24 kilo ohms, but the actual value can be anywhere between 22.8 and 25.2. And so you should always check the tolerance level to see where the true resistance may lie. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and calculate the value of this resistor, determine the tolerance level, and also the range in which the true resistance may lie. So the first color is green, the second is blue, the third is red, and the fourth, which is the tolerance, is silver. So the first color is associated with the first digit. Green has a number of 5, so the first digit is 5. Next we have blue, which is associated with 6. The second color is for the second digit. And then we're going to multiply. Now, the third color is for the multiplier. And since we have red, the multiplier for red is 10 squared. So we're going to multiply by 10 to the second power. And then the last color is associated with the tolerance. For silver, the tolerance is 
so it's going to be plus or minus 10%. 10 squared, or 10 times 10, is 100. So 56 times 100 is 5600. So that's the resistance. It's 5600 ohms, plus or minus 10%. Now let's calculate 10% of 5600. So 5600 times 10%, which is 0.10. To convert a percentage to a decimal, you can divide by 100 or move the decimal point two units to the left. 5600 times 0.10 is 560. So basically, we need to add or subtract by 560. 5600 plus 560 is 6,160 and 5,600 minus 560 that's 5,040 so the actual resistance could be anywhere between 5,040 ohms and 6,160 ohms with the average value being around 5,600 so this is the resistance and this is the range in which the actual resistance can be. Here's another one you could try. Go ahead and calculate the resistance using the resistor color code and determine the tolerance and also the range in which the true resistance can lie. So feel free to pause the video and see what the solution is going to be. Unpause it whenever you're ready. So the first color is yellow. The second one is purple or violet. The third one is green. And the last one has no color. So the first color is associated with the first digit. So yellow corresponds to four. The second color is for the second digit. Violet corresponds to seven. The third color is for the multiplier. Green has a multiplier of 10 to the fifth. And the last one is for the tolerance level. For no color, the tolerance is very high. It's 20%. That is plus or minus 20%. But let's deal with the percentage later. What's 47 times 10 to the five? 10 to the five is basically 100,000. It's a one with five zeros. And if you multiply 47 by 100,000, that's going to be 4.7 million, or 4,700,000. So that is the resistance level in ohms, which if you put it back in scientific notation, by moving the decimal six units to the left, this is equivalent to 4.7 times 10 to the six ohms. Now, 10 to the 6 is basically a million, which represents mega. Mega is equal to 10 to the 6. So this, you can write it as 4.7 mega ohms. Anytime you have a value above 1,000, it's common to write it in terms of kilo ohms. If it's above a million, you want to use mega ohms. So now, what is 20%? of 4.7. So if we multiply 4.7 by 0 0.20, don't forget to divide 20 by 100, this is going to give us 0.94. So the resistance could be anywhere between 4.7 mega ohms plus or minus 0.94 mega ohms. The unit has to be the same. So the lowest value is going to be 4.7 minus 0.94, which is 3.76 mega ohms. And the highest value is 4.7 plus 0.94, which is 5.64 mega ohms. So the average resistance for this particular resistor is about 4.7 mega ohms. The tolerance level is 20% and the range is between 3.76 
and 5.64. So this resistor can have any value in this range, but most likely it's going to be around 4.7 mega ohms.